Flutterflow's translation feature rocks, but you cannot send push notifications based on the user's language. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Alright, the first action is to save the user's language into our database. To do that, just open user's collection and create a new field called app language code. It's going to be a string. Now we head to homepage and open the action flow editor of the root widget. Over here, we have to check if the app language code saved in our database matches the current language code. It means the language the app is using right now. And if they do, we don't do anything to avoid unnecessary writes. But if they don't match, we update the user's document and put the new app language code into our database. Okay, now we are done over here. Unfortunately, the next step requires some coding, but it's super simple. Head to custom code and create a new custom function and name it multi-language text. It's going to get a language code and a key. The key cannot be nullable. Okay, after we put this piece of code into the custom function, I'm going to explain what it does right now really quick. It decides on what a string to return based on the language code and the key you pass it. For example, if you pass notif1 and the language code is pt, it will return ola. And if the language code does not exist for that specific key, for example, you pass dk instead of pt, it will default to English or en. You can change it based on your app. If your primary language is English, put English over here or put pt or any other language code. You can find the code in the description below. And over here, we add the trigger push notification action. When the user likes a post, we want to send a notification to the other one. And put the user document, the other user, into the recipient. And if you don't have access to the full document of the other user, you can easily retrieve that with another action. Just search for read document and paste the other user's preference into the action. Then you can like this video and subscribe. We just give it a generic notification title, the app name maybe. And the fun part is for the notification text. We search for our custom functions name, multi-language text, and put the other user's app language code into the language code field and put the key we want to send. For example, over here we want to send hello, so we pass notif1 as the key. Amazing! Now our push notification system with multi-language support is complete. If you have any questions or you have some doubts about the custom function, don't hesitate to leave a comment and see you in the next one.